Okay, so first looking at income, we have a completed month. Um, so first off, you may notice week one was normal and then you'll see week two and three increase. The reason that they increased is because my husband's raise took effect. So this new number will be the standard. Um, week four, we had extra because my husband owned some cows and with some other people and they sold and split the profits on that. So that is the extra income that week. And then on week five, it's just my husband's income um, as he gets paid on Tuesdays and I get paid on Fridays. Then we have reimbursements. My grandma's payback, uh, she only had $20 bills, so she did overpay me a little bit, but that's okay. It will just roll over to November. And then for Rance's work, we zero out at the end of the month. So he had everything zeroed out and any extra income that he made, um, we moved to the house fund. And then for other, we had absolutely nothing going on in there. For giving, we had gifts. There was just some basic stuff. We had some Walgreens stuff. There was lots of baby showers. Um, and then during the Amazon specials, um, I forgot what the deal, I think it was deal day or something like that. Um, I had my brother's Christmas gift. It, I found it like half off. It was exactly what I wanted to get him. So I went ahead and got it for him. And then my dad reimbursed me for half of my mom's birthday gift. And then giving, we do have church gifts. And then I also gave some money to the Humane Society as well. Then for housing, rent and water came out as normal. Natural gas was twenty eight fourteen. This is the last month you guys will see this price for gas just because I know that we have been using gas significantly more just due to the fact that price uh, prices have increased and also um, it's cold outside. So that's going to go up, but electricity is going down. So that is nice. They do kind of balance out on some level internet $70, trash $14, my phone bill $36.71, and pet care, I went ahead and added a large amount because I wanted to get as close to $1,000 as possible. Um, obviously, I did have some expense of my dog's food being purchased here. For transportation, I did go ahead and zero these out just because my husband and I were trying to figure out some numbers. So this budget is finalized, um, which I know you guys prefer um, seeing me adjust the numbers here, but due to the fact that I am married now, um, my husband and I try to do this stuff together so we can see where I'm at, uh, where, where, where we are at, so therefore you guys sometimes will see me finalizing it with you and sometimes not. Um, so for gas, we only spent $310.81. It was mainly my gas um, and maintenance, we just had the car wash, um, and we have built up quite a nice fund here, which is good. Um, I just want to build up as much as possible just because I know with three cars and a motorcycle now, there's going to be more expenses just for maintaining a car. For groceries, we didn't spend everything. We have $93.97 left over, and restaurants, we did go over. Um, but a couple of times we did purchase items. It wasn't just me or just rants. Um, we did pizza with my grandma for uh, Halloween and then there were some group meals. Um, so there was just some group things going on. Um, so that is why we did a higher budget this month. So for my entertainment, I did again spend a lot of stuff. Um, I got my 2024 planner and I did buy two as buy one, get one half off. So uh, I had a coworker go in with me and she paid me back for her half of it. So that kind of worked out there. His entertainment is building just because he never does anything for himself. And then clothing, we have $100. We did not buy any clothing. So that is good. I did get my hair done. So we have some leftover of $92.29, not too bad. Household, we did get uh, some Scentsy stuff. My husband likes the house to smell good just like I do, which is really great as well as I like my office to smell good. So I had a relative that had a Scentsy party. I went ahead and purchased stuff for both just any of the holiday seasons for both work and our house. And I'm pretty happy with that. 
Our investments came out as planned, same with Spotify and Hulu, and our yearly subscription, our Amazon Prime came out, and my parents reimbursed for half because they actually use it quite often. Um, insurance benefit card, you guys, we are on the tail end of the year, and we have used it. Um, we've definitely utilized a lot of this insurance card, and my guess is, is it will be $0 before the end of the year. For medical... Um, we had my vitamins. Um, I had a Walgreens run. I was stocking up on some medications and stuff. And then $5.95. So I was feeling ill. And um, it's not a standard medication that I keep on hand. So I just ordered it from Amazon and had it show up at the house. It was great. And I am feeling better now. Um, so then we had my husband's car insurance. Um, this is for both of his cars. So it is kind of expensive. And then his car tags were also due for both of his cars. So expensive month for cars. Then for debt, we did put $2,000 on our debt. And I wish that it showed you guys. So we are almost to $20,000 left on this car. So that is exciting. And then we have savings. So that means that we put $2,622.32 to our future house fund. Um, and that's absolutely amazing. We are so excited to have this money going in. That's a very large amount. That's basically what I make a month, um, just under. So to have that being put into our future home is just absolutely amazing. Um, so you can see a good chunk of... Or, a separate chunk that is on top of this 2600 was moved from his work reimbursement. And then you do see that we had $200 coming out. We had to get our building permit finalized so they can start the utilities and everything else. So that is what the budget looks like for October. Mm -hmm.